Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender. I can assure you of that. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. So here he is, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. A lot of different skills brought to the table by the Korean Superboy. Outstanding counters, very conditioned athlete. And I think he showed you in the Cub Swanson fight, a fight that didn't go his way, but that he can take a beating and keep on walking forward. This man has heart, he's got a chin, cardio for days. Do Ho Choi, a man many believe eventually will be belted by UFC President Dana White. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 13 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting in a Seoul, South Korea. He owned you the ace, Lear! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 14 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a groovy South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Choi. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go. All right, round one is underway. Here is the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by first round knockout, something his opponent is acutely aware of coming in here tonight. All right, first round is underway, and no surprise that his opponent's guard is high. He has done his homework, he has watched film. You know about these powerful overhand punches, a big part of his game plan every time out. We'll see if he can get it going here early in this one. Nice punch there by Chor. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Big shots! Chung Koo Lim is in some trouble. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Blocks the shot. How about that shin? 
That one hurt. Almost hits him with that left hook. Joy gets lit up by that straight punch. Nice jab there by Lip. He went for an elbow. Lim's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Effective jab there by Lim. Stop. Stop. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Oh, another crisp jab lands flush. Nice way to keep the opponent at distance there. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, landed it. Lim gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Lim's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 15 seconds. Nice. Four seconds for the end of round one. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. Round two here. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, a nice hook there by Choi. Everything Lim throws with fight ending intentions. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Fainting with that kick. And he eats a kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. A kick to the body by Choi. Oh! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Trying to kick the leg out. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at that. Nice. Slips to avoid the right. Target. Under a minute now to go. 
gets the inside leg kick to land there. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Hey, another left, left hand, hand there. Oh! What a leg kick! Swing and a miss. Nice. nice. And he's looking for that left. He got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Feints with the punch. Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Lynn's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Wow! Oh, he's hurt! Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt again! Able to connect. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Choi gets tagged by the kick there. He couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Nice punch by Lynn. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Lim gets caught by that straight hand. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Joe, he missed with that straight right attempt. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Let's take a look at that again. And here it is from another angle.
Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. You ready to fight? You ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue... Oh, he got hit! You didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. Wow! He is rocked. Oh! And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh, very nice. Whiffs on that offering. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh! He's out! A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. We can see it from another angle here. Here's the huge uppercut that lands right on the money and ends this fight. Take a look at this from a different angle. Boom! Perfectly placed uppercut. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. All right, we set it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. This contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Pian Gura, the ace man. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can 